In this video, I will show you how to enable GPU acceleration in Adobe Photoshop 2023. You need to be right inside your Adobe Photoshop and once you're right inside, you need to go to the edit and you need to scroll down until you see the preferences tab here you need to hover your mouse over it and a few options will be displayed to you you need to first of all go to the general it will open a pop-up with the very important settings that we are going to apply to enable the gpu acceleration so first of all you need to go to the performance and once you are right inside the performance you need to find the memory usage option here and let photoshop use this is the amount of ram that is photoshop is allowed to use that is 52 percent for example if i have 16 gb ram 52 percent of the ram is being used by the photoshop once i am using or editing the photo in the photoshop we might need to increase it up to 90 percent so that whenever we use the photoshop maximum ram is used and we can get the best quality from the photoshop if you're working for your web design for your normal photos or if you're working for huge pixel dimensions then i highly recommend to enable the graphic processor settings you need to click on this uh, button here use graphics processor and once you're done you need to click on advanced settings and make sure use open seal anti-alias guides and paths and 30-bit uh, display all of these options are enabled and click on ok once you do this it will maximize the usage of gpu while you are editing your photos in the photoshop and very important setting is the history and the cache you can optimize the cache levels and the total file size for the web design you need to see the uh, values here that will change once i select these options if you click on web design we have these options available that is very optimized for the photoshop if you click on default photos it has changed to these settings and if you are working with very huge pixel dimensions you can click on this and it will change the settings accordingly so you can go with any of these options if you are working for for web design if you're working for the default photos if you're working for high pixel dimensions you can select any of these shortcuts and it will automatically apply the history and cache settings for you so that it can use the gpu while you're editing your photos in the photoshop and once you're done you need to find the 3d for the 3d if you're working for the 3d designs or the 3d graphics i recommend to use 100 percent of your ram that is available that is basically a virtual ram so right here you need to click on allow direct to screen this option should be turned on and in the ray tracer high quality threshold should be set to 6 and the render tile size should be extra large don't go with the huge it will slow down your computer but if your computer is uh, a bit of low end you can go with large or medium that's fine but if you have a very high end computer you can go with extra large or huge all right for the 3d file loading active light source should be 8 and the default diffuse texture limit should be 140 that's fine do not mess with these settings as they are very sensitive and you don't want to mess the photoshop to slow down your computer or you won't be able to edit any photos in the photoshop all right so last but not the least is the export settings you can select any options here you want if you want to export the png gif or jpg file but i recommend to use the png file and uh, quick export locations you can also so specify this as every time and very important setting is the convert to srgb you need to make sure this option is selected and uh, that's it now you have completely optimized your photoshop to use the gpu while you are editing your photos and it will enable the gpu acceleration in the photoshop and you might get the excellent performance from the photoshop if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thanks again and have a nice day